I can't believe this is actually happening. I am about to have an arranged marriage. The School of Life is sending some of YouTube's most popular creators on a series of field trips to explore philosophy's most intriguing ideas. This time, Just got home from Lebanon. Adam Sala, the 25-year-old New Yorker, best known for his hip-hop-flavored music videos and mischievous pranks, ah! I've never heard him scream like that in my life, is going to ask his family to find a partner they think he should spend the rest of his life with. With around half of marriages ending in divorce, you may as well base your choice of life partner on the flip of a coin. So when it comes to choosing who to marry, is it time to replace love with logic? New York City, where the girls are looking pretty. Hey. I'm 25 years old, and I know nothing about marriage. In fact, it scares me. But everyone around me wants me to get married. What am I gonna do? Here's a 60 second guide from someone who knows way more about it than I do. A 60 second guide to marriage. We think of marriage as something two people do when they finally found the right person and fallen in love. But this is based on a very modern delusion. For most of history, the idea that marriage and love had anything to do with each other would have been laughed at. Marriage was a transaction designed to be beneficial for children, land and power. Love was for drama, excitement and sex. But in the 1800s, poems and best-selling books began to promote a radical new idea, rebranding marriage as something that starry-eyed couples should only do for love. Even though, as a foundation for marriage, love hasn't been very successful. It might even prompt us to wonder if expecting marriage to provide sex and love, as well as happiness and material security, is expecting too much. And to ask if acting on impulse while blinded by love really is the cleverest way of choosing the person we will be with forever. Could it be that the future of marriage might be found by looking at a model which has actually been very successful throughout most of our history? I'm from Yemen, so me being 25 and not married is a big deal. I'm stuck with my dad and my mom pressuring me every single day because literally everyone in my family is married. My sisters, my older brother, my younger brother. For me, marriage is about you know, romantic love, finding the right one that you want to be with every day. But for my parents, marriage is about, you know, oh, you're a big boy now, you know, you're married. That's how it should be. Adam is part of the dating app generation. In the street, in a, in a lounge, people use apps to even, you know, approach girls, men. But he's sick of swiping. No more Tinder, no more singlemuslim.com, no more Instagram, no more Twitter. There are two and a half thousand dating sites in the US alone. With all that choice on offer, can Adam really say goodbye to a life of short-lived fun and focus on finding someone he might be compatible with for the long term? Adam's dad and brother have decided that the only way to go is an arranged marriage. It's time for you to get married. Our parents, they find a wife for you. And the arranged marriage is good. You know how people these days, they use those app thing, the app. Like they see something they don't like, they swap up. It's, it's not respectful for a woman. People say love at first sight. Sometimes it doesn't last long. One month, one year, they get over it. But if you let your parent find a woman for you, it's better. It's like two people meet, they don't know each other, okay? You build your relationship. That's how love is. What if I see her and I don't like her? Like, right away, I don't like her. The looks don't matter. The heart that matter. Good, kind, sweet. Wanna get some kids? How many kids do you want me to get? Like your father, three and three. Okay, I like that. <laughs> you want dad to see your kids, right? Yeah, I wanna see your kids. My marriage was arranged. You see me happy? I see you happy. I do see you happy. Okay, I, I love my wife, my kids. I'm, I'm, I'm happy, and I, I want you to be happy. I mean, sometimes I think maybe, maybe you got lucky. I, I know. The only reason I'm gonna do this is because I've seen it. You know, I've, I've seen Tinder be a big mess, but I've seen your marriages, even my dad and you, you know, be successful. It came out good for me. It, it came out good for Yusuf. It's gonna be perfect for you. All right, all right I guess I'm. 
take my phone out, I'm gonna delete all the apps. I'm deleting everything I got. Since you're telling me from experience, then I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to, you know, to do this. Adam has decided to go ahead with an arranged marriage. His family have asked around, interviewed the candidates, and finally settled on a very special person who they think would be ideal for him. Today, he's meeting her for the very first time. I'm really nervous. A few months ago, I would have never expected something like this to happen, and now I'm here. I'm waiting for my date. I just hope it goes well. It's really weird not seeing the person before. Hi. Hi, I'm Noor, nice Adam, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you want a coffee or something? Black coffee, no, no sugar, sugar, no cream. Oh, that's good, that's good. I was just really nervous. It's my first time meeting you, so I was, I didn't know what to expect. What's your nationality? Palestinian. Oh, Palestinian, that's dope. Yeah, that's what sick. about you? I'm from Yemen, yeah. Yemen. Yemen. Okay, shut up now. Shut up now, hey. So do you know Arabic or not? Yeah. You do? What about you? Speak. I'm speaking Arabic, yeah. Do you speak Arabic? Yeah. Uh, you speak Arabic? Yeah. Oh, mashallah, nice. That's good, I like that. <laughs> do you have any brothers and sisters? Three older sisters and two brothers. You? Uh, just a younger brother. Just a younger brother? Yeah. That's good. Stress free. It's better for me. If it could be the only child, it's better. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I feel you. So having a big family, some people like love it, but it's, it's too much. It's a lot much. of drama. Yeah, like when I go much. back home, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. It's like keeping up with the Kardashians. Even worse. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe our moms like knew each other. I know, right? Yeah. I mean, my mom, my dad, and my brother. They were saying how like you're the right one and you're you're perfect for me. Yeah. yeah. You're very. You're not shy. I, I was worried if you're gonna be shy. Oh, no, I'm definitely not shy. All right, so. That's good, that's good. <laughs> my friends think this is like so weird that we're doing this. Yeah, they're like, what the hell? And you didn't know each other and you just got married. Like, that's, it's backwards, you know? The good thing about us is like, we have the family connection, so we yeah. know we have the compatibility. Yeah. And it's not only based off like looks. The looks don't matter. The heart that matter. It's not a decision based off emotion, it's based off logic. Yes. Is it weird that I'm thinking about like, you know, our, our whole future right now? us growing old together. Is it weird or? Uh, I mean, it's it's different, but I mean, it's, it's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After meeting you, I think we could be a good match. To be honest, if there wasn't no connection, if there wasn't no, you know, spark, I wouldn't have been feeling it, but everything has been going really, really well, like better than what I expected. I'm still kind of nervous, but I'm ready to see what happens next. Couples in arranged marriages tend to report higher levels of satisfaction than those in relationships founded on desire alone. It seems surprising, but why wouldn't reason provide a more solid basis for a relationship than emotion? After much discussion and preparation and further meetings between Adam and Noor, the ultimate decision has been taken. Both families are happy to go ahead. I don't know how you did this at the age of 18, man. I'm 25 and I'm freaking out. If I did it, you could do it. Just be yourself, be happy, be calm, relax. All right, everything will be okay. Assalamu right. alaikum. In the name of Prophet Muhammad, do you give Adam permission to marry your daughter? I give permission. Bismillah. Bismillah. Mabro. Stop, 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 stop. Chill, chill. This is, this is just weird. I need to get out of the situation, man. This is getting way too serious. Guys, I have a confession to make. This is not actually a real arranged marriage. This is something that I did to see what goes on. And the reason for that is because I want to take a deeper look when I was at the ice cream place with, with my wife, it was a crazy experience because it all felt so real. This is something serious for me because I do want to get married soon. I just wanted to experience what my brothers, you know, went through. I am 25 and I will be married soon. I've always been blind to this arranged marriage, you know, stuff. Anytime my, my mom and my dad would talk about it with me, I would literally ignore it. But now, after this whole journey that I had, I will consider maybe having an arranged marriage. It's more about trust. It's more about long-term, you know, not, not just having someone temporary. This is about being with someone forever. And that's, that's an amazing feeling once you're ready. Modern marriage is based on a huge assumption that it makes sense to base our actions on our feelings. But this is to ignore the traditional basis of marriage, reason based on long-term calm thinking. 
After all, sexual passion doesn't last forever, and you can always grow to like someone you didn't think much of at first sight. With values, background, and status that are aligned, you might even end up being the best of friends. It's a hugely provocative thought for our times, but isn't a marriage that isn't blinded by lust and passion more likely to be a marriage that lasts? What do you think? Should Adam marry someone he doesn't love, but with whom he might have a great lifelong friendship? Leave your comments below. If you've enjoyed this episode on marriage as much as I did, make sure you guys check out the rest of the series here on the School of Life YouTube channel. I'll see you soon.